Greetings, whiskey folk, and welcome to the Dram Report, your Dram Association news for today, Tuesday, June the 22nd of 2021. And today is very exciting because, surprise, we have a brand new pair of whiskies to release. Now, those of you who have been following the Dram Association for the last couple of years um, will have noticed we've we started our own little sort of series of, uh, of releases of BC single cask whiskies. A cask strength, non-chill filtered, non-coloured, um, as pure as you can get local craft whiskies. And uh, they've been, I, I think it's fair to say, resoundingly very popular. Um, they've won numerous awards at the Canadian Whiskey Awards. Um, and yeah, we, we've had shelter points. Actually, let's let's, let's go through them. We, we started off with two shelter points, uh, the Avant Garde, which was a, uh, a blackberry wine cask um, barley whiskey, uh, unmalted barley, and also, of course, the classic shelter point. Uh, both of those won awards. We then uh, took a trip more locally to Divine, and uh, we had some uh, ancient grains done for us at Castorant. We did two casks of that, and uh, we also had a one-of-a-kind, never been released before, never been released since, um, bourbon-style whiskey spirit from them, uh, which we called the West Coast Speakeasy as well. Super cool releases. We then, of course, went back to Shelter Point with our two most recent releases, um, the Echoes of a Hebrides, which was the Lafroig cask finish single malt, which was super cool. And of course, the Patience is a Virtue, the eight-year-old, the, I believe still to this date, the oldest Shelter Point released. Um, and it's been a hell of a journey. We've had some amazing single casks. And I keep being asked, you know, who's next? What's uh, what's next? Are we are we going to uh, visit somewhere else on the island, uh, or you know, are we going to go back to Divine? Well, truth is, we we do have more whiskies in the works with Divine and Shelter Point, um, but we do want to explore other distilleries as well. And today, we are proud to release two whiskies from a distillery that, uh, um, yeah, I am very excited to be. Uh, to be, to be supplying you some whiskey from, because I didn't actually realize how good this whiskey was until relatively recently. And in fact, I presented the uh, a, a single malt from this distillery on this channel a few months ago. Um, I did a video where we were releasing the most recent version of the Glen Sarnich from Divine, and in that I also explored three other BC single malts. And I, I, was, I was quite impressed. Um, Here's a little clip from that video, actually. I haven't tried it, and you're about to see on video me make a decision as to whether I should bring it into the store or not. So that feels fraught with danger, and I really hope for their sake that this whiskey is good and I get to say a resounding yes, but let's find out. So I go on to say that um, whereas I'm not quite sure whether I would categorize it as an excellent whiskey, I would categorize the Commodore as an excellent spirit. And in fact, I've been enjoying this excellent spirit quite a lot since that video. Um, I actually have the bottle right here. And I, the Commodore is, is quite wonderful. Um, I've, I've grown to really enjoy the sort of, the almondy sort of Stollen sort of flavors that I'm getting from it. It's, it's very, it feels very European. It's it's very nice. Um, I love the tobacco notes that I still get from this whiskey. A really interesting example of how good a whiskey can be in a in a German style still, in a Holstein still. Really, really cool spirit. And it turns out that my growing adoration for this malt is is I'm not alone in that. <laughs> it's not a unique thing. Um, so since I uh, decided. On, on on a YouTube video that yes, I would bring this into the stra the, the straff and uh, it did very well by the way. Uh, we sold we sold through our allotment of the Commodore batch four in record time. Um, it's uh, it's gone on to pick up some pretty prestigious awards and the biggest award that it's picked up was the 2021 Canadian Artisan Spirits Award for the best single malt in Canada. And that is very impressive. So this is a panel of judges who aren't whiskey specific, but are looking at all kinds of different spirits that are produced throughout our province, throughout our country. And uh, that is pretty cool that, uh, that this whiskey actually picked up the honor of the best 
because it has stiff competition. Uh, I mean, Shelter Point were entered into it. Divine were entered into it. Um, Victoria Caledonia were entered into it. And I'm sure a whole flurry of other distilleries were entered into this competition. Um, and yeah, to pick up the best single malt in Canada, that's not even just BC. We're talking, you know, um, the Glen Breton guys, the guys have been doing it for a couple of decades now, if not more. I can't remember how long they've been around. We're talking all of these little craft guys that are popping up in Alberta and Saskatchewan and Ontario. That is just an incredible award for the Commodore to get. And uh, thankfully, before that award was announced, I had already been in talks with the guys at Odd Society to get our own versions. And I'm very excited by that. Before I reveal them, though, I do just want to give a quick shout out uh, to some other winners of the 2021 Canadian Artisan Spirit Awards, because uh, the single malt category did indeed go to the Commodore, but the single grain went to the Shelter Point Double Barrel Batch 5. And if you're a fan of Shelter Point's Double Barrel series, well, all I can say is stay tuned, <laughs> because... Uh, Something special is coming up with that as well. And also the young whiskey, the best young whiskey, which is a whiskey under three years, technically not a whiskey, um, went to Divine's Ancient Grains, which is picking up that award in pretty much any competition it enters. So congratulations again to Shelter Point and Divine, but congratulations to Odd Society for their Commodore, not only for picking up an award, but for joining Divine and for joining Shelter Point as the third of the local craft single cask whiskies at the Strath. Whew. I'm having another quick sip of this. Mm. Yeah, beautifully nutty. And I'm gonna put this one aside and here comes the big reveal. And these are available right now. And in fact, with the new setup, I think I can put them right there. And you should be able to see them quite clearly. If I, maybe if I do that. I'm still getting used to the new camera setup, guys. Hey, there we go. So we have two amazing, slightly different versions of the Commodore available exclusively at the Strathale One and Spirit Merchants. Right now, available exclusively at strathlicker.com. You can't get these if you wander into the store. To keep things simple, we're keeping them just on the website. Um, and yeah, super cool pair of whiskies. What makes these really cool? Well, apart from the fact that I'm sure they're going to be delicious. I've, I sampled the prototypes. I had them about, uh, I think, three weeks before they were bottled. So they're going to have changed slightly since I last tried them. Um, it's a pair of a slight contrast. And this is something that's going to speak to whiskey geeks quite uh, quite nicely, because a lot of us really like to see the subtle, minute differences that a small change in the recipe of a whiskey can make. So what we have here is cask 254. And cask 254 was distilled on May the 29th of 2021. Sorry, that's the bottling date. Get it right, Adam. It was distilled on May the 22nd, 2017. My apologies. Um, and it was matured in an ex-bourbon barrel at a char level of one. Okay. Now this one, which is cask 272, was distilled on August the 8th, 2017. So a couple of months afterwards. Um, it was bottled on the same date, May the 29th of 2021. Yeah. <laughs> very recently. And this one, however, is from an ex bourbon barrel with a char level of three. Both of them are made with 100% BC malted barley. And that is really cool to be able to get almost the same spirit, a slightly different batch of the spirit, but you know, the same same barley, the, uh, the same still, the same recipe, everything theoretically the same apart from the date it was distilled, um, but, but placed into two slightly different casks because char level is something that is often not really talked about much in the land of single malts, but it is very much talked about in the land of bourbon. Um, so for a lot of you guys who are bourbon fanatics or even rye fanatics, you probably know an awful lot more about um, char level than, say, a, uh, a, a die-hard single malt fan. Um, and yeah, we we come across it sometimes. We have, some of you might know of the alligator cask phenomenon, which is a heavy, heavy char, something that uh, uh, Ardbeg has done with the Ardbeg alligator and the Ardbeg scorch recently as well. Um, but yeah, there are various different uh, char levels that you can, um, you can heat the cask up to, uh, and it will actually have quite a big difference 
on the flavor of the whiskey that you've got. Um, yeah. So, so a little bit on that. So there's four, uh, four things that, uh, four different chemicals that come to play in the charring process of a barrel. So first of all, you've got the oak lactones, and they're the chemicals that will give you coconut and almond flavors, um, really interesting compounds uh, that actually will get, um, f get less uh, prominent with a higher char. You'll also get tannins, something that you've probably heard of an awful lot in red wine, um, and they will give you those sort of peppery, dry, maybe even orange rindy kind of a notes. Uh, again, they will dissipate with a higher char. Then on the other side of, uh, of things, with a higher char, you'll actually get more lignin. And what lignin brings to the party is vanilla and leather. Um, and it's actually literally vanillin, the actual chemical is, is in that uh, compound, I believe. Um, and yeah, that gets more prom prominent with char, as does hemicellulose, which will give you these sweet caramel maple flavors as well. Um, yeah, so theoretically, these should fit into those uh, tasting notes just a little bit more than the other. Uh, char level one, which we have here, is 15 seconds of charring on the cask. Then there's char level two, which is in between, that's 30 seconds. Um, for some reason, char level three is only a little bit more, this one's 35. And then as I mentioned, there's the alligator char as well, that's 55. Uh, theoretically, there's a char five, which is 95, I think, and it keeps going up, but they're very, very rarely used. Four chars is really enough, and most people only ever use three. Well, actually, most people only ever use two, number one and number three, number two is kind of ignored. Um, but yeah, really interesting, uh, really interesting concept to take a look at this pair of whiskies. And I'm going to try them actually right now. Um, I'm going to give you my, my crib notes on this pairing. I'm going to start off with the char number one option here, which is cask 252. And uh, I'm just now realizing that I might need a knife to get into this. So I'll be back in just a second. Well, it turned out I didn't need a knife, but I did need a couple of minutes of fiddling with the plastic and you didn't really need to see that. So let's see what this whiskey brings to the table. You might notice, ooh, tight cork. Very nice. You might notice it's significantly darker than the uh, original Commodore, um, which is kind of interesting. Um, not sure what's going on there. Significantly darker in color. Mm. Ooh, very tight corks, guys. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that is glorious. Mm. So what are we expecting here on the char level? We should theoretically be getting a, uh, a, a, a more nutty, spicy flavor um, of, compared to the other one. Interestingly, I should note that with a higher char level, normally becomes a darker color, but in this case, it's actually the inverse. And this is the perfect, perfect example of how um, rules are, 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 are not set in stone. Um, so the darker one in this case is actually the lighter char, funnily enough. It is um, a couple of months older. Um, technically, this one's a four-year-old and this one's a three-year-old uh, because it's either, either side of the, uh, the date line there. But uh, yeah. Ah. <sighs> I love the, the bump in ABV. I mean, I'm a, I'm a fan of the fact that they, I think they did 46, yeah, 46 on the regular Commodore, but this being uh, released at cast strength of 53, funnily enough, they both came out of 53. Uh, I'm not sure if that's exact or whether they just didn't bother with decimal places, but 53 point something possibly, not sure. Oh, that is, I mean, my mind's being swayed by what I've just said, but it's definitely got this beautiful, um, citrus peel thing going on that I didn't find so much in the uh, in the regular version. It's it's grapefruit. It's it's big ruby grapefruit peel twisted and you know when it's uh, the you know when you're twisting uh, peels to make a cocktail and the uh, and the, the the I'm not sure what it is that sort of the acids from the skin sort of burst out and you get that nice fresh zesty note. Yeah. Oh, that is that is very very good though. Um, it's retaining the almond note that I get in the regular Commodore, certainly. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's really dialed up that nuttiness. A little, a little touch of that black pepper. 
That is, it's not too sweet, it's nice and dry. That is a beautiful, beautiful single malt. So, how I said in the last video that I think this is an excellent spirit, not necessarily an excellent whiskey, this is just a straight up excellent whiskey in my mind. I am honestly very, very impressed with this. And that's not just because I hand, had a hand in uh, sort of getting it to the shelves, it's, I, I am honestly very impressed. Mm. I should also uh, say the little write-up on the back of the bottle that we came up with. The Strath is proud to present this unique bottle of BC single malt whiskey from Odd Society, made locally, honouring Scottish tradition. <laughs> Uh, I'm so glad we made the decision to jump over to the mainland. Um, I'm uh, the idea that uh, just because I had this weird thought in my mind that I should keep things on the island that I would have missed out on a whiskey like this is yeah, it doesn't bear thinking about. Mm. Oh, yeah, very very good. Let's compare it a little bit to. The second in this beautiful pair. Mm. 272. This is the cask char three, slightly younger. This is a technically a three-year-old. Mm. Oh, such a difference on the nose. It is frankly astounding. And I remember this from the samples that I got that uh, made me pull the trigger on these. Frankly astounding how different these two are. Oh, there's a deeper, richer, there's a darker thing, but there's a sweeter thing. It's sweeter, but it's also dark. It's like licorice and coffee and toffee and malt and chocolate. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's, and it's funny because those flavors, what you'd expect a darker color as well, but definitely not in this case. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Big fudge. Big fudge. Little, little touch. And um, yeah, little touch of sort of a actual char note, like not really smoke, but that little bit of a charcoal-y thing going on in a in a in a good way. The whiskey asterisk is in full effect there. Um, yeah. Mmm. A little. A little bready, actually, as well. Mm. But again, that almond note is pulling, pulling, pulling right through again. And I think that's going to be the thing that ties the Commodores together from the samples that I've had so far. Um, that is its defining feature. And it's a damn good feature to have. Love an almond. Mm. So, yeah. They are on sale right now at strathlicker.com. Um, and they are just incredible value. Um, we've, we've had the same price for all of our releases so far for our uh, single cask BC Spirit releases. And we're actually going down now. Um, they, uh, the, the guys at Art Society gave us a fantastic price and we're passing that on to you guys as well. This, both of these, are such limited edition, I should have mentioned that as well. Only 42 um, bottles. Actually, only 41 of one of them, they were a little short. Um, but by that point, the label had already been made. Uh, so yeah, 83 total combined. Uh, very, very, very small amount of these bottles. Um, you can pick one up or you can pick both up. The price per bottle is 89.91 a full price. But of course, you guys don't pay full price because you are Dram Association members. So you know you automatically get 5% off, which means that your price is 85.41. 8541. Um, yeah. And if you happen to be a premium member, you get your 10% discount on these whiskies as well, bringing it all the way down to $80.92, which actually makes it only $7 more than a regular version of the Commodore. Um, I, you, you don't need me to tell you that that is a great deal. I don't think these are going to last very long, so get them while you can. Um, 
I'd be I'd be surprised to see these actually go out on the shelves in the store. I think we're going to sell them all online in the next uh, in the next little while. But yeah, I'm a fan. Hopefully you guys will be too. Let us know in the comments for this video though where you'd like us to visit next. What distillery in British Columbia would you like us to visit next and try and get a single cask for you guys from? Uh, I'd love to hear uh, your opinions. Um, I know that uh, I've had a couple of requests already for some of other distilleries on the island here. I know uh, um, I, I know I need to have a conversation with the guys at Sheringham and at Stillhead. But uh, yeah, let me know and I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, thank you very much, Art Society. Um, and a special shout out to Sean Sewell as well, who had a hand in getting these bottles to us. Um, thanks, Sean. Uh, hopefully you enjoy them as much as I do. Now, what's next on the drum report? Our second story tonight is about upcoming tastings. And I know you guys have been looking forward to getting back together physically as a group for a long time now, and uh, we have that in the works. And I'm here to announce that in August, we will be getting together as the Dram Association for a um, very special uh, series of tastings where we are going to be doing a versus tasting. For those of you familiar with the versus tastings, you're probably excited because they are a lot of fun. Uh, we take eight whiskies and we put them in head-to-head -head competition in a bracketology style competition. And in honor of the Olympics, which at this point, I'm still not sure if they're gonna happen or not, we're going to be doing a nation versus nation. Eight countries um, being represented by their whiskies in a very special tasting. So stay tuned for the dates and information on how to get tickets for that event. In the meantime, we have another wonderful uh, interview um, coming on YouTube on Drinking Out Loud, another digital whiskey tasting with Jill Boyd from Compass Box, who had an amazing conversation with me. We talked all about Compass Box whiskey in general, and a little bit about life in general. Um, you can tune into that when it uh, airs on Wednesday, June the 30th at 6.30 p.m. In the meantime, we have some incredible whiskies still available as Dram Association featured whiskies, um, and these will be available until the Compass Box whiskies take their place. So these will still be available until the June the 30th, and this is what we have on offer right now. So as you can see, all of the whiskies from the recent Ben Romick and Bowmore tastings are still available at 10% off for all Dram Association members. That includes such wonderful whiskies like the heavily smoked Ben Romick Peat Smoke from the Contrast series, down from $100.78, just a $90.70. Um, if you're looking for an incredible bargain, Look no further than the Bowmore 12. Um, a lot of people overlook this incredible whiskey, but for only $62.52, it is a bargain. And at only $56.27 currently on special, it's even more so. Um, speaking of bargains, the Ben Romick 10 year old fits into that category very nicely as well. Uh, such an amazing whiskey. Uh, right now, with its 10% discount, only $70.35. You can also take a look at some more premium whiskies that are still available. Um, unfortunately, the Ben Romick premium whiskies are all sold out. We had an incredible response for both the 45-year-old and the 21-year-old. We even managed to get another three 21-year-olds in and have already sold those out. But you can still get the 1989 23-year-old port cask matured Bowmore normally 782.52, right now 704.27. And one whiskey that I'd also like to point out, because this is only available at the Strath uh, in British Columbia. Um, it was brought in especially for a, whiskey, for a whiskey club in Edmonton, which I've since learned is not the Edmonton Whiskey Club. I don't know what whiskey club in Edmonton this was bottled for. Um, I should try and find out, I guess. Uh, but we got the excess. We got some specifically specifically only available at the Strath in BC. Um, this is a first fill bourbon cask, uh, single cask, cask strength Ben Romick, and it is incredible. Um, normally this whiskey is 144.26, and that's the price it will go back to um, very shortly, but you can still pick up a bottle for 129.83, 130 bucks for a single cask, cask strength, official bottling Ben Romick from a first fill barrel. That is an incredible bargain, and I very much encourage you to uh, consider that whiskey. And we have one more piece of news to share with you. 
Before we go today, a special note to premium members. Thank you to all of you who have kept your membership going throughout the pandemic. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering when we're going to do some more of the studio sample sessions. Well, unfortunately, as you might notice, we're no longer in the studio. Um, the Compass Box tasting that I recorded a couple of weeks ago will be the last video ever shot in the Strat Studio because the good news is we have tourists again and the hotel needs the room back. So I'm back here in, uh, in my living room, actually, in my dining room, um, which means we don't have the studio, but we have something potentially much, much more exciting to announce. And we have a whole bunch of things to announce only to premium members. So keep an eye on your email this weekend. I'm gonna be filming another video just for you guys. Um, and it's gonna be a cracker. So stay tuned, stay safe, stay well, and stay excited because we're almost at the end of this pandemic and hopefully it'll be no time at all until we're sat in a room drinking whiskey together once more. Thanks for checking out the uh, Dram Report. I'll see you guys on the next video. Slash of art. Felt the wind of a car to bar, it took a long road to get here. Navigating by a shooting star.